J-Flight 29BHDS at 7,660 pounds. Uh, here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a member of the number one best-selling series of travel trailers. Frankly, this is a member of the family of the number one best-selling RV period in the Americas. Um, uh, for what, 11 straight years, the J-Flight has been unbeaten, not just in travel trailer sales, but in RV sales, period. Jayco builds and sells more J flights than some entire companies sell trailers, fifth wheels, pop-ups, everything combined. It's that powerful. And if at any point you'd like to see what this costs or links or tank capacities, easy to answer but important questions like that, visit the link in our video description as that has all of that information right there for you. Um, try to make everything one click away easy and you'll find that when we publish our price tag, our price tag can't change if you do or don't have a trade because we don't play games. Now I got a lot to cover so I got to get dug in. Jayco's have double the industry standard warranty. Better materials like plywood decking instead of OSB decking is one of the reasons why. Now there are different grades of things. There's, you know, plywood, there's OSB, Dynaspan, all this different stuff. They each have a different set of benefits. Plywood, generally speaking, is going to be stronger than uh, traditional 4x8 OSB sheets. Uh, it'll be a little more money, but it's also lighter weight. It's, it's a better material in that respect. Um, you'll notice that uh, their baggage doors, they actually trim these out so you don't have exposed uh, wood framework. And they use bigger, not just wider, but also taller doors. All of their uh, baggage doors, or pardon me, all of their uh, I'm looking at a baggage door, so that stuck in my head. Marker lights, tail lights, interior, exterior, all the lights are LED. Uh, so it's just going to be a better, more reliable thing. Oops, I left the propane cover inside. But nice time to talk about 50% larger propane tanks. A little easier to see them here. 30 pounds instead of 20. Um, the uh, let's see here. We've got an extended diamond plate. Jayco uses a different chassis setup. Their A frame right here wraps right into the I beams of the chassis, so they wrap the diamond plate down to help protect that. Now, there's power awnings, power tongue jacks, you know, that stuff is, is like diamond does nowadays, but there are different grades and quality of appliances. Something I noticed on these Jayco's is the awning moves so much faster than almost every other brand. It moves like three times faster because they just use a higher grade uh, awning motor. The other thing is it has like a, a safety gearing in it so that you cannot overextend the awning. I've seen some awnings where they unroll and the motor will keep twisting the tube. It'll actually roll the awning backwards up and stretch your awning fabric. You can't do that with this. I didn't even really realize it until just now. So there's things that you learn every day. You know, the most important lessons you learn in life are the things you learned after you already knew everything, you know? In this class, tinted windows are not standard. Having uh, side slide breeze windows, not standard. Unless you're in a J flight, and then they're standard all day long. Outside shower, black tank flush in a very convenient location. And this is cool. We have a driver's side direct entry bathroom. And a lot of people are going, why is it over here? And the short answer to that is because this allows you to have a direct entry bathroom and an outside kitchen without having a 35 foot, two slide, heavy and expensive travel trailer. This is how you accomplish all of those things in a smaller box. That's what's so cool about this. This has all the features of the big ones in a smaller package. Um, we have added a power, uh, or, oh, geez, OP, it's a propane grill, power grill, <laughs> um, propane grill to this thing. That's an option. And again, the link in the video description will show you the ones we have in stock and how they're equipped. And they did not waste an ounce of space. Be over here is the outside kitchen. So what they did is they said, you know what? There's a lot of storage here we can utilize. Let's open that right up. They did a nice job of it too. Um, interesting little thing all your baggage doors your entry door all those they're they're all key to like so you only need one key you don't need like four different entry keys uh that that's uh, a nice thing. you don't need a big jailer's key ring from like some robin hood medieval jailer movie on your on your hip here uh walk on roof deck and in fact jayco j flights have a, a 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood roof deck, which is really nice. Uh, it's a best in class feature. They have the strongest in class roof structure, arguably the strongest roofing period in the business. 18 gallon per hour water heater. Um, uh, the uh, little mini outside kitchenette here is really nice. Now they went with a low profile so that you don't lose interior bunk space. This still has a, a, a full size pair of double double bunks instead of uh, a single double or anything like that. And hey, you've got a, a, a uh, cooktop here for your sides. We've added the grill for the main dish and you're all set. Uh, this is an Elite Series, which means there's a whole bunch of upgrades on this one. And we add the thermal package to these more often than not. Um, so long story short, this has an Eagle fifth wheel insulation package 
in a common class towable. Now, they don't cold chamber and test their J flights, but this has the exact, exact same insulation package as a uh, zero degree tested and proven Jayco fifth wheel. I think that's worth noting, don't you? Um, you know, that means, you know, insulated slides, roof, all that good stuff. Moving inside here, we've got a wider 30 inch entry door, so a big klutz like me can get through the door without crashing my head into stuff. All LED interior lights, but with all these big windows letting in a ton of light, the camera's actually going to have a hard time keeping up sometimes. So I'm going to have to angle down like that quite a bit. There are different decors available. The one we have in stock uh, might look like this. It might not. Never know. Trifold memory foam, hide-a-bed sofa. So if your double over double bunks aren't enough sleeping space, you can sleep two here. The U-Dinettes can fold down in just shy of like a seven-foot bed. So that can probably sleep one or two more. And just look at just the features in the dinette here. They they give you totes for easy access to the storage under each side of the dinette. Uh, the table is totally elliptical, freestanding, move it wherever you want. What's neat about this, with the island over here so far, they have a nice big wide open entryway. I look at that and I say, you know, you could ellipse that down to the down position, leave it right here like a coffee table for this, or take it outside and leave it under your awning. Um, common question. On floor plans that have island kitchens, is does that eat into your awning space? And yes, of course, a little. But I've actually, I've got a photo on hand I took with the awning all the way out uh, on this unit. Uh, so that you can see how much space is there. More than enough room to still put a picnic table. If this was that big of a deal, they wouldn't still be building it this frequently, guys. You gotta think about that. Um, so the island here is just nothing but storage, and both sides of it have these little swing-out pantries, which is cool. So they don't waste any storage space in here. They give you a perfect place for, uh, like, a wastebasket, and you've got good drawer space right where it's easy to access. That's something that I, I really enjoy. They've also, if you see my hand get brighter and darker, it's because they have indirect lighting under the island. And while that is just pretty aesthetically, it's also the perfect, perfect nightlight. More storage in the slide out. And uh, with your three big appliances here, uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator, freezer, uh, microwave, stove, all stainless. They're in the slide, they're off the floor plan. But they made it wide enough. They, they could have they not put this chunk in here, this cabinet, this countertop, and that cabinet down there. They could have shrunk it a little bit, and you probably never would have thought twice. But that gives you storage, that gives you prep space, that gives you storage. Those are key critical features. They did not want to leave that out. Um, you also saw that uh, the there's you know uh, uh, household uh, outlets over there for appliances. Some there, two there. You can plug stuff in all over the place in here. And it took me a minute to put my finger on it because I've seen versions of this floor plan from other brands before. And I was standing like right here, and I went, "Wow, this just feels so much bigger. Why is that?" And I'm pretty good with floor plans. I've uh, oh my gosh, I've got a, I've seen tens of thousands of RVs now, and I started looking around and I went, okay, start really dissecting this. Where did that space come from? Did they give anything up? And the short answer is no. Um, they were just really smart with their space. They gave you a breeze window over here in the kitchen that most brands don't have. J flights are taller. First of all, this is 81 inches tall, so it's 6'9 tall instead of 6'6. Six, six. Taller cabinets, taller shower, taller bunks, taller slides. All that stuff adds up. Then they had the skylight over here. So what you're seeing is more light and the illusory perception of negative space. That's a fancy pants way of saying it done look bigger here. And uh, that's, you know, I, that's what I like about this. It was designed extremely well. Now you can sleep, I don't know, eight, 10 people in here. You got to be able to put all their stuff away. You got to be able to feed them. And this camper can get all of that done. Bathroom door covering up our double double bunks. Now, because they put a big cabinet here and your bathroom's right there, you kind of have a sort of private bunk space, and if you really want to privatize that, I mean, you can have a curtain. You kind of got a door right there. It's sort of a ghetto way to accomplish that, but does it have to be fancy to be effective? I don't think so. Um, I also like that they're given, you know, an, a nice uh, grab handle here, and there's a wall stud built right in here so the kids can actually grab something and pull themselves up. Jayco's do have best-in-class bedding. They have a lot of best-in-class things, but this is definitely one of them you're going to like for one-third of your camping time is spent sleeping. So they use 50%... Oh, I just popped off my Fitbit. Put that in my pocket before I lose it. Um, they spend one-third of their time, uh, you know, sleeping, so they use 50% thicker bunk matting in Jayco. And again... 
look up in the guts of stuff and you're going to see real components, you know, real materials, plywood, better materials. Uh, porcelain foot flush stool instead of a uh, plastic. So you can actually clean it. You can be a little more aggressive cleaning it. And this is um, the scientific for, for, uh, phrase for this is a big honking shower. This is a big freaking shower, man. Look at, this is huge. I mean, let me climb in here. I can put my hand on my head like I'm washing my hair. And I mean, there, there ain't nothing even getting anywhere close to me in here. And if I want to spin you right round, baby, we can do that in here. There's no problems in this thing. Um, and also, again, taller shower, taller guy. Even if I had hair, I wouldn't have a problem with it in here. Um, direct entry door. And there is a deadbolt on that, by the way. So you don't got to worry about somebody opening the door and going, ah, because you're on the bathtub. That's just not going to be a problem here. Don't ask me to make that sound again. Oh my God. A big sink. This is nice. You can actually get your hands in here and, you know, wash your hands. You can't do that in a lot of punk house camper sinks. It sounds like a, a no-brainer idiot thing, but it's true. So, the entertainment center up here, usually a manufacturer will give you either a swing-out, swing-arm-mounted entertainment uh, or TV so that you can, like, see it from the couch, or they'll make the TV spin. Jayco gives you both. They're one of the very few that does that. So you can really have this TV twisted around any every which way about loose to have it really facing exactly where you want. Now your little, um, I call this the, <laughs> the timeout seat. Um, amazing, I didn't spend a lot of time in the timeout seat as a kid. I uh, when, when people barked, I tend to listen. I, I didn't get to be uh, uppity and difficult until I got older. But this is awesome. It gives you a place to sit down, put your shoes on, put the kids' shoes on. You got a place for all their shoes in there, out of the way, so that they're not in the door, in the way. Place for jackets right when you walk in the door. Useful stuff, man. Sliding, pocket, privacy door, so mom and dad can enjoy themselves in here on your true 80-inch real queen bed. And this is a Simmons uh, residential uh, grade mattress. Simmons beauty rest mattress, basically. It's a 60 by 80, real queen, residential grade, best in class bedding. Um, again, more LED lighting. Uh, it looks like we have actually built this 50 amp service and second AC capable. That's interesting. I don't know that you need to do that in this size and whatnot, but hey, why not? Um, what do we got? Oh yeah, Jake also finishes off the backside of their entertainment center. So even if you're not watching TV, that mirror is giving you, again, that sense of uh, space and, and bigger space. Big Fury on HD TVs come in these. We haven't even taken this one out yet. Um, both sides of the bed have household outlets. Over here, we also have the uh, charge station. All kinds of, all kinds of, you know, accessory goodness in here. There's a reason. Well, no, there's not a reason. There's a ton of reasons that this is uh, the very best selling RV on the market, bar none, period. Nobody else beats it. No one else even comes close. That's the thing. It's not even, it's like every year, it's a race for second place. It's like, who's going to lose to J Flight this year? Um, right now, there's a couple contenders, but <laughs> there's no one contending J Flight. So, if you like what you see, like I said, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.